Susan has completed all the recommended tests. But will Susan make it to the national wait list? And more importantly, how long will she have to wait before a kidney becomes available for transplant? Let's find out. Wait time is a key factor in getting a deceased donor transplant. Your blood type plays a major role in how long you need to wait for a deceased kidney, ranging from less than five years for AB type recipients to more than seven years for B type recipients. The average waiting time in our region is five to 10 years. If approved for transplant, you will be notified and registered for the national wait list administered by the United Network for Organ Sharing, or UNOS. UNOS is a federal agency that manages the process and information on all potential listed recipients throughout the United States. Gift of Life is the local OPO, or Organ Procurement Organization, that manages the organ offers. Gift of Life will notify transplant centers located in Delaware, Southern New Jersey, and Eastern Pennsylvania when a deceased donor organ becomes available. But why is there a wait list? Good question. According to the website kidney.org, approximately 500,000 people in the United States have chronic kidney disease. Over 100,000 people are on the kidney transplant waiting list, and the number is increasing every day. But only about 17,000 kidney transplants are performed each year, 33% from living donors and 67% from the deceased. Mm hmm I understand why there is a long wait list. So, to increase my chances, can I list with more than one organ procurement organization? You may list at other transplant centers in different OPOs. However, there is no benefit of listing at another transplant center in the same OPO. Multi-listing increases your chances and potentially decreases your wait time to match with a deceased organ donor. However, you must travel to the new location for transplantation, as well as for all your post-operative care. Your goal should be to be listed as status 1 or active status. This means that your testing is complete, you are ready for transplant, and you are eligible to be offered a deceased donor kidney. However, you may be listed with a status 7 or temporarily inactive status if there is a change in your functional status or a change in your current health status. For example, if less than one year has elapsed from a heart stent procedure. You will not be offered a deceased donor kidney if your status changes to status 7 or temporarily inactive. Susan is finally notified that she has successfully completed her testing and has been added to the wait list. She is happy that her journey to find a donor kidney is now truly underway. Will Susan find a donor in time? And what type of donor can she expect? Continue watching to find out.